what's up guys today we're doing this creative trippy glow effect that night of does in a lot of his edits it's not going to look exactly the same but it's going to get you a basic start because he adds so many effects and messes with the settings that you can't really copy exact settings he has but it's going to get you a start and it's going to give you a baseline of how he does it this is pretty simple we're going to do this in after effects because night of edits only in after effects make sure you follow my instagram like make sure you guys leave a suggestion of what kind of tutorials you want to see next i'm gonna make any tutorial you want to do the effect effect it's pretty simple all you have to do is go to your effects control panel and then type in glow and underneath stylized glow just go ahead and drag the regular after effects glow that everyone uses go ahead and drag that onto your clip now the effect isn't that hard so if i look at the clipper now and i go to my effects control panel and go to this glow threshold if i just scroll through this we can kind of see something similar but it's not doing what we need to do so what we need to do is we need to go ahead and right here where it says glow colors original colors change that to a and b colors now if you scroll down to this a and b midpoint color a and color b that's the colors it's going to glow so i'm going to change this a and b midpoint all the way to 100 because i want the white and black to glow i recommend keeping your color b at black however you can change it to a different color and i recommend keeping your color a to white or even like a bright color so make sure you don't do any dark colors down here make sure you do a bright white color and white works the best and for the reason for this is if we go back to our glow threshold and we just scroll through it, the effect is already happening. Now we just need to do some tweaks just to make it look nice. If we go through this, I haven't made any keyframes yet, so let's just do that. I'm going to go to the beginning of my clip, make a keyframe on this glow threshold. I'm going to change this to 100. And then I'm going to go to where I want the effect to finish, which is about right here. And I'm going to change the glow threshold to 0. If we ramp preview it, we have some glow like this, which looks pretty cool. But all we need to do is change it. So right now, in my opinion, the glow is too thick. He makes his glows kind of like lines. So we need to change this glow radius and change it all the way down. If you change it to one, you'll have kind of this glow, which is okay, but I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna move it up to my liking to about three. But if you guys like that, you know, you can change it to one. So I'm gonna use mine about three, which looks pretty cool. And I'm gonna change the glow intensity up a little bit just so it glows a little bit more. So now if we look at it, we'll have something like this. So since we already changed our A and B midpoint and our glow colors to A and B, right here where it says but glow operation, go ahead and change that to either, I believe it was hard light. Let's see. Hard light will make it do this. I just did this and I can't remember which one it was. For right now, for this tutorial for sake, we're gonna use stencil alpha, which looks something like this. And now you can see that the kind of clip is kind of disintegrating. Well, we don't want the disintegration, we just kind of want the glow. So that's no problem, we're gonna keep everything the same. We're just gonna highlight our clip, press Control D on the keyboard. And on the bottom clip, we're gonna select that and we're gonna go ahead and turn the glow off. So now if we look at the effect, we'll have something like this. But you notice that the black is still going on. Don't worry. All you need to do is go to your top clip now, which is the effect with the glow on it, the clip with the glow on it, and make sure you change the mode to either lighten pretty much anything in the add section right here, which will work. So I like to use a uh, color, color dodge because it gives a more gritty effect. Now, if you look at it, we'll have crazy amount of glow right here to this. Now we can keyframe this so the glow right here isn't as intense as to start with so if you look at it we'll do something like this okay now we need to add one more effect we're going to go to effects and presets we're going to look up turbulent displace how do you spell that turbulent displace and go ahead and drag that onto the top clip now if we just look at this our glow is all distorted i'm going to bring up the amount and I'm going to lower down the size just like that. So now if we look at it, we'll have kind of this effect. And I'm going to go to the beginning of my clip. I'm going to keyframe the evolution of the turbulent displace. And I'm going to just kind of move this about, move this little circle about one time. So it kind of gives it a swirl effect to something like this. Now, I kind of don't like how the effect is looking right now. It doesn't look quite right so i'm going to go back to my glow settings and i'll change the stencil alpha so let me mute the bottom layer if i change the stencil alpha here hold up i think i need to change this to none 
and then change this to, I just did this right before the tutorial started. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna change the, the glow operation to saturation, and then now we'll have this effect. And then I'm going to unmute the bottom layer again, and then now if we look at it, we're getting closer to the effect that we kind of want. Um, the turbulence displace, now this is me just kind of fixing the effect. I'm gonna increase the amount on that, and I'm gonna decrease the size. Maybe increase the amount. Now if we look at it, we'll have something like this, which is pretty close to the effect. Now let's say you're not really liking the white on it, you kind of want it blue, like he does it a lot. Um, the easiest way to change this is you can definitely change the color A, like I said, to either blue up here or make sure like a light, like one of the light colors, but it doesn't really give off that effect. So I'm going to change this back to white. The easiest way to do this is on your effects and presets panel, look up tint, T-I-N-T, and on, under color correction, there's tint. Go ahead and drag that onto your top clip. Now, right here underneath the tint settings, you're going to change this map white since the effect is white. Go ahead and change that to a color you want. If I change it to blue, I'll get this effect, which is kind of more like it. Now, if I change it to like red, we'll get something crazy. That's basically it for this tutorial. If you guys liked it, leave a like. If you have any suggestions, leave a comment down below. I'll get to it. Make sure you leave a comment. I'm pretty sure I'll get to it. Make sure you guys like it, subscribe, stuff on my Instagram. Peace out later.